And Anna uh, from Pacer Pro, come on up. <laughs> um, so my name is Anna. I'm the CEO of Pacer Pro. Uh, very simply, Pacer Pro provides an overlay to the Pacer system. Uh, by background, we are part of the wave, I think, of everybody on the panel of lawyer-founded technology companies. I think one of the things that makes us special is implementation and execution. Uh, so there are, I think, more than 691 tech startups out there and at least as many established tech companies. Uh, and one of the key problems for many of those have been is that somebody's got a good idea and they don't have follow through. Um, so actually for tonight's demonstration, I decided to forego a straight product demo. I also figured that most of the people in the audience, at least half of you would be people who are either technology providers uh, or people who are interested in becoming technology providers. So I'm gonna talk about three of the key factors that have enabled us to get traction in big law in the US. And pretty simply, um, one of the things that is key and we definitely did not think of initially is backend setups. Uh, so one of the pain points is if you have a product that people have to log in or change workflow, it doesn't actually matter how great it is or how many hours it will save them. You will lose a large section of the legal industry. And part of this is inertia. Uh, part of it's because there are so many different software tools out there that people just have technology fatigue. Um, and part of it's time and bandwidth, right? The messaging that's necessary to get uh, lawyers to actually sign into your product is extraordinarily expensive. Um, the second thing, and this ties into the bandwidth issue, is being able to offer some sort of immediate value. Right? There is obvious value in the legal industry if we could get law firms to work <coughs> efficiently. It would be better for the lawyers, it would be better for the clients, it would be better for the world. Um, however, walking in with a grand plan is very hard to pull off, especially when you're trying to build trust. On the other hand, if you can show somebody something that takes 10 seconds to explain and does something that they like, they'll keep the door open. And once the door is open, you can continue to work with them to provide more value over time. Um, that, as an aside note, is another thing that you should expect who's coming into the industry. This is a long-term proposition, right? It's a slow industry that's got a lot of benefits for our legal institutions, uh, but there are no quick wins. Uh, the last thing is, of course, looking both at a, your enjoyment in the, the company that you have started, um, the possibilities, the value that you're able to get, is whatever immediate value you're providing should tie into a bigger picture. What you do see is a lot of companies that get distracted because so-and-so big firm wants this one special feature and they think, well, we'll build this out real quick and then you know, we'll, we'll get them and we'll get other people. Um, technology resources are very expensive. You have to be strategic. Um, so along those lines, this, which I know is fascinating, this is another aside. The other reason I'm not doing a full product demo tonight is because what our product demos are is usually a deep dive into data fields. And I thought at this hour, maybe that would not win me friends. <laughs> I'm an eight This is a notice of electronic filing. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the federal courts, if you file in federal court in the US um, by mandate, you have to do it through the PACER system, which is public access to court electronic records. Uh, and notification of new filings in your cases will happen through the electronic court filing system. And this beautiful piece of software is what we call an ECF. So this is if you're in a big firm and the opposing counsel has filed a motion to dismiss with a lot of good arguments and great research, is the thing that's gonna come out probably Friday night around 11.30 at night, because that's when filing deadlines are, um, notifying you. And there's a couple of problems with these notifications. One, they don't go out to the whole case team. Uh, two, more critically, you can see here there is docket text, um, but you don't actually get the document. So you know something important has happened, but you don't know what it is. And if you're a junior level associate, you might not even get notification. So you've got a partner screaming on you, or screaming at you probably, on, depends on the partner. <laughs> right, but they want their answer now, and you can't read the bloody document, right? So the thing that's the pain point in this, the thing that makes this amenable to a tech solution is that these email notifications have an option to add an email address. So Pacer Pro comes in at an enterprise level, we put in an email address onto every single attorney profile, which is work that we can do ourselves with no involvement from the attorney, no involvement from the support staff. And as soon as we're finished and we turn the on button on, 
we're able to produce something that looks like this. Now, what this has, and if you're not a litigator, it won't be quite as flashy and exciting for you, um, but your actual underlying documents are here, and everybody on your case team uh, who needs to get the document is cc uh, And the reason that that, just as a side note, is important is because typically what happens in a firm is something important happens, every single person on the case team emails the paralegal, who then gets 25 notifications of a particular document coming in. Um, you know, just as a question of scale, last year we did about 4.4 million of these. Um, we're in 35, the MLA 100. Uh, we tend to have about a 60 to 70% usage rate uh, pretty quickly after we complete a setup. The last bit here, and this is going back to the bigger picture. So it's really great, you roll out this product, people like it, partners will be your friend, um, or you know, at least pick up your call every once in a while. Um, but the, the bigger question that's happening currently within large law firms is they're trying to leverage their experience. Right? They know that they're producing briefs and motions that have a lot of value, but they're saved into document management systems with non-standard nomenclature, and when you actually hit crunch time and trial, nobody can find them. Law firms are also under pressure because their clients, like Google and Uber, are extremely data-driven. Right? They don't want you to come in with a pitch that says, yeah, we're gonna bar charge you about five to $600 an hour until we're finished, right? The way to be able to meet client demands, to fully leverage your experience, and ultimately really to push the practice of law forward is by leveraging our data. So again, going back to what we do with these emails, it's not just special because you're getting somebody something quickly. We're also getting a copy of every single filing and every single case with every judge, every opposing counsel, and every filing type that a particular law firm is involved in. What's also special about PACER is that that data is tagged when it's going into the input side of ECF, so we're able to fully profile the documents before we push them into, say, the document management system or the experience software. And since this is a pitch night, um, you know, again, actually the, the first firms to bring PACER Pro on are the top litigation firms in the country. Um, you know, we've been around for seven years. Here are some of the quotes uh, from the people who use us. If there is anybody here from a law firm, we also do have a number of panels and we're happy to connect you to anybody in the market so that you could speak to them directly rather than to us. But are there questions? 